Let me ask you about this pension push. School teachers and union members uh, pushing to preserve their pensions a after the fate remains unclear in the $1.3 trillion spending bill on Capitol Hill. Last week, bipartisan committee met for the first time in Washington to address this pension crisis. We know where the money is being spent and where the growth is, and it is in those entitlements. Well, that's not really true. We just gave $1.0 trillion gift to big business. I mean, there's a lot of money they just gave away. So they can't say, oh, we don't have any money now. Are you talking about the tax plan? Yeah, you shouldn't have given it away. Now that it's gone, you're saying, well, oh, my gosh, $1.0 trillion dollars gone. No. Oh, boy. They, they, they were and so lowering, now you say there's no money for anybody else. But, but give me, they lowered say. corporate taxes to enable God. corporations to feel there was a, a, an environment out there that they could hire more workers. Are you saying you wanted to see the corporate tax rate at 35% stay in place? Is that what you're saying, James? I would say we should, yes, because these corporations are making... You wanted a corporate making, tax rate at 35%? Hey, these corporations are making billions of dollars, and now they're going to say we've got to cut the, the safety net, we've got to get rid of Social Security. Do you... Uh, food stamps? Are you kidding me? Are we really that bad? We're going to do that to this country? No, there, let's, let's get back to the pensions. The pension issue, which you mentioned, that's an important issue. For the first time, Congress is focused on the issue of pension, the pension crisis. We have joint committees set up right now to start working on this problem. Uh, Orrin Hatch has made the right comments about what we have to do to address the pension crisis in America. And we're going to have a solution by November, and I'm very proud of what they've done. We've had input into it, and we're working with Congress, uh, both Republicans and Democrats, to address this problem. It's a major your problem. We need money to fix the problem. The answer is people can't work 40 years, promise to pension, and then you pull the rug on them. That's wrong. Yeah. People deserve pensions. Well, the, the truth is, is these programs are going out of, I mean, they are, they are going bankrupt, right? You see Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security. Those programs are going bankrupt in the next 15 to 20 years, even less than that. Well, if you, if you give $1.5 trillion away, they'll go bankrupt because there's no money. The answer is you have to fund everything. America is getting grayer. We're going to have more people on Social Security. Right. What are you going to say? We're not going to have Social Security. You'll have a revolution in this country. People have been promised this. I know thousands of people that depend on Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. That is what this country is about. They're, they deserve it. It's working. Right. It's one plan that really does work. The check comes every month. It's just right. Let's not disturb that right now. Mm. And these people now that these you know these people are starting to say oh we got to get rid of the the so-called entitlements when they say entitlements they're talking about social security you want to get rid of social security you'll have a revolution in this country yeah no I, I understand once you give somebody something it's hard to take it back but on the corporate tax rate when you look at a corporate tax rate of 35 percent in America versus 13 percent in Ireland how is that competitive I mean how could the US stay at 35 percent corporate rate when all of so many other countries are at such a lower level that's why you're losing jobs. As a guy who's protecting so many thousands of people's jobs and fighting for the rights of workers, you have to believe that that wasn't competitive. I don't believe it. These companies are making so much money right now. And what did we have? Trillions of dollars offshore. You know, Pfizer has all this money overseas, and all of a sudden they start bringing it back. They're making money. They know how to get around that. Did you know General Electric, all the billions of dollars they make, they didn't file, they didn't pay any taxes right. at all. I know that. Give and me that's a because break. they had all those loopholes. But this tax loopholes. plan took all the loopholes out. Well, I don't know about that, but they'll find a way. I'm telling you, it was better the other way because we had money in the government. When you take that amount of money, money out of this system right now, it's basically destroying it. And what does the Republicans, the first thing they say is, cut Social Security. That's their answer to everything. All right, so Get rid of the entitlements. What do you have to say about now 3% economic growth? We were talking about 1.5% economic growth in the last 10 years. Well, now I, you're talking about 3%, I hope we have partly 3%, due to the tax cut plan. I, I hope we have 3%, 4%, 5%. That's good for America. It doesn't just come we out of a hat, that. James. I'm it's not happening. So sure about that. It's happening because you're seeing a tax cut plan and anticipation of lower taxes. Well, this tax is an rate. awful robust economy. Economy right now. It's going very, very it sure strong. sure is, partly because of the tax cuts. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I can't predict what it's going to be, but I got news for you. 3%, 4% that's good for America. It's good for everybody. It sure is. So do you think that that kind of growth can sustain if we go on this path and we continue to see job creation? Are you expecting that kind of a jo uh, growth number? I don't know. If they put the money back in, where there's, what I'm disappointed in is that all this money is coming back to these corporations and they're not sharing it with the workers. Mm. Right now... Well, what about all these $1,000 bonuses, let me, let me James? Story. Are you going to call them crumbs? No, let me. It is crumbs. Let me oh, tell you. A, let me tell you. A, let me tell you a story. 
They said Walmart people are going to give $1,000. you got to work there 20 years. Yeah. 20 years. Wow. There are not many people who work 20 years. Not every I mean, that's wrong. Why didn't they just give any, it to everybody? Why didn't like they that? give it to everybody? And then we're seeing these other things. United Airlines, you have to have perfect attendance. Well, uh, uh, lots of luck. I mean, that's not fair. Give the money back. Share the money. This was supposed to be what they were telling everybody. They're telling the media, oh, we're going to share this money. And now they're putting all these things in about you have to have a raffle. You have to have this. You have to have perfect what's attendance. What's the average salary of a union person today? I know it, it depends on seniority it, it depends. and all that. Can we you come up with a number? $100,000. $100,000. No, it's not average. Okay. 75000 75000 So we you're telling me from all that $75,000 job, they don't want $1,000? I'm that's saying I, I, they, they look at a thousand dollars. But if crumbs. they gave it to them, but now they're not. For Disney, Disney was supposed to give a thousand dollars. Now they put a loophole on it. Only if you approve the contract. Can you believe they did that? Come on, give the money away. Yeah. You got it. Give it back. All right. Look, you had me at trade. I'm not so sure about the tax plan. I like this conversation, James. It's good to see you. Always good to see you.